All right, now that we know what a topography map is, how to identify ridges and valleys, we can go ahead and go over the procedure for delineating or identifying a watershed on a topography map. Now, there's, it's about five steps. Um, you usually don't need, once you get good at delineating a watershed, identifying the different ridges and valleys, you don't really need to follow these steps anymore. But um, the procedure to learn how to delineate a watershed is as follows. The first thing is to determine an outlet. Determine your outlet. This is a point where all the water within this watershed that you're trying to identify will drain to. It's kind of like the exiting point. So in this case, we have uh, this river here, we have this river down here, um, and this river, so maybe we can call this the outlet, okay? So this watershed uh, would be surrounding the three red lines I drew, right? This is the uh, outlet point, okay? Uh, the second step is to identify high points. High points are just on the topography map um, points that have the highest elevation. Usually the you can see them they're enclosed they, they might be like this or even just small circles um, but let's let's look on this topography map there's several different high points. Um, Here's, well, see if you can pause the video and identify them before I do. So, high points, um, the ones I found were, there's one here, there's one here, uh, that's actually a number, uh, there's one right here, and you see this X, and it has a little number next to it, that just means that's the highest point in this area, um, that X right there. Um, what else, where else? Actually, I think those are all of them. This one, this one right here, I think that's a that's a number. So don't don't mistake that for a high point. Okay, those are the high points. These high points are going to be connected by uh, the ridges we find, right? So that's that's the second step. Third step um, is to let's see. I guess you can identify identify. Uh, the different ridges and valleys, okay? And I guess we can do the fourth step um, as well. Uh, that's to draw the streams, okay? So we'll do three and four together. So on this map, you can see that, uh, let me do this in black, let me do the ridges first. Um, it looks like there's, let's see, a ridge. This might this might be a ridge. Uh, this might be a ridge. This might be a ridge. Uh, this is a ridge. This is definitely a ridge. 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 And then you want to identify the valleys and draw the little water. Um, so if I had a water droplet here, this water droplet would look something like, or it would flow down and connect to this river, right? So you can actually see that this ridge that we drew earlier extends, oops, that's blue. This ridge that extends earlier uh, comes up maybe down there. That's probably one ridge. And then um, let's see if we can identify one more small little valley, uh, maybe one here. See this? This will go down and hit this river right here. Okay, so that's you identify the ridges and the valleys and then finally, let's see, let me do blue. Uh, you, you connect the high points and the ridges together with the outlet, and bam, you have your watershed. All right, so this is the procedure for de uh, delineating a watershed on a topography map. Um, might be a little confusing now, but we'll do an example. Um, so in the next video, we get to delineate a watershed. Yay! All right, see you in the next video.